What's happened, my single and non-single chat? So there is trouble in paradise right now. Like, a lot of streamers are calling out Activision Call of Duty, something that you guys love to hear, right? And we got also, we got the homie, Nate Shot, though. Yeah, Nate Shot had Meltdown on stream. <laughs> We're gonna check it out. But he spitted facts. I actually skimmed through the video. He kind of spitted facts, but a lot of people and brothers are calling him out, saying that, bro, you were buying, like, the bundles. You were telling other people that how good the bundles are and all that, which he never really said, but he did say that, yeah, he buys all the bundles, he thinks the bundles are good. Bruh. He did say that uh, not long ago. I wanna show you the video as well, and apparently a lot of brothers are also assuming if he loves all the bundles, then he most probably loves the which kind of makes sense, but guys, that's not the point of this video. What we doing here, bruh? Like this video, subscribe. Let's go for two likes on the video. Uh, let me send you some, let me send you some kishi. Roll it. You guys who have been subbing and leaving comments, this is the third time in the last week and a half we talked about Nade Shot versus Cheaters, but probably my favorite debate he has actually had on stream, and I wouldn't necessarily call it a debate. I probably should have called it a rant, where he talks about hacking is making it very difficult to be a streamer oh, and competitive man. Call of Duty player. Man. Also going on to expand with the SR and the Wait hidden MMR system and Call of Duty ranked, really plaguing the game. So what do you guys think? But here are Nate Shot's thoughts. I agree. Look, man, most people aren't in the same circumstances as me. I sit here and play this game eight hours a day, and I kind of rely on it as a job, if you so if, so to speak. You know what I mean? So look, bro. Maybe these. Uh, maybe the BBC bundles uh, did some number on him, guys. Maybe this is why he likes uh, playing for eight hours. Maybe that's what it is, man. I don't know. Man. From my perspective, because of this, but this game is riddled with cheaters. The SR values are all fucked up. You could play for an hour, hour and a half, win every game, lose one game. It wipes out all the progress of that. Damn. The cruise missiles are glitched. The fucking lobbies and the ping is awful. There's just a lot of problems, man. Yeah, a lot of problems, finally. And I it mean, just makes wow. those eight hours tough to stomach. <laughs> yeah, somebody's gonna be like, oh, we'll play for, uh, <laughs> for one hour, dummy. You know what I mean? But now nah, he's spitting facts. At the end of the day, bro, I'm streaming. We're making money. We're vibing. I shouldn't complain. Yeah, facts, but, facts, uh, facts. It's hard, but it's uh, hard. It's hard. I, I mean, listen. If you're a Call of Duty player and you don't complain, are you actually a Call of Duty player? Just think about it, right? Like, just we all. If you're a Call of Duty player, you're gonna complain. Simple as that. I cannot believe there's an SR sorry. system where you can like play for an hour and fifteen minutes, win all of those games, and then lose one game, and you have it all wiped out. Yeah. And yeah. there's another clip that's coming up as well. But listen, man. No matter if you agree, disagree. The fact is that whatever he's saying is kind of true, though. Like, uh, I'm not making fun of him. We're just kind of like ban having a banter, lighthearted jokes here. But I've read comments, and a lot of people are trying to cook, or not even trying to. They're cooking the homie because he made the the statement he responded at activision by saying that yep he loves all the bundles he buys all the bundles he did say that he did say that i, I understand where he was coming from he don't want to like ruin the relationship that he has with activision so he was going in and he was trying to butter their toast before he snatched the butter away Bruh. and the toast also away you, you feel what i'm saying so that's why he was doing it but uh yeah when he said that he loves all the bundles and he buys all the bundles seconds were like bro stop buying the bundles Got I mean, you. I'm just at the point where the game thinks I'm shit, man. I literally get 26 to 30 a win, and then I get minus 60 for mm -hmm, a loss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got what another one here. Is that? Imagine having now, a rank play system that uses hidden MMR in the background to assign the values of which you win. So the what problem is, with it is, is it, uh, any of you know what's an MMR? I'm a, I'm a noob when it comes to that. Doesn't know like, Bruh. like unless you're just titties. getting unless you're just getting kills, it, it just thinks you're trash. Like, unless you're getting a fuck ton of kills. Yeah. I heard getting a lot of hill time helps with your SR. No, it, it does doesn't. not. No, it does it not. Doesn't? I've tried that for like a full week. You did? No. No. Shit. You, get you just gotta have 90 seconds, and you'll still get 18 RR. I think it's score. No, I think no, it's not that. It, it might be score. Really? I, already, I think it's no. score, bro. Because like no, it's not. In I Vanguard, look. I'm pretty sure it was score. When I was it's when not. I was like iridescent and crimson, I was getting like 200, 300. It's not, I'm bro. I know it is, man. It's just I'm a high win loss, and it's. I was sitting back thinking to myself, man, maybe just the gaming community is the most toxic place in the world. Everybody's <laughs> just complaining 24 7. Like, for a minute, I swear to God, I had blurred lines, and I'm like, dude, they gave us a lot to be excited about with this title. You like know? what? Like what? Oh, Yo, shit. like what? 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 They, yeah, they gave us a fairly. <laughs> But that's nothing to be excited about, my G. That's nothing to be excited about, bruh. Come on, man. 
Well, they sped the movement back up. I love the customization with the operators and shit, which I know is not imperative to the quality of gameplay, but it's something that I like. I like the customization, but holy shit, man. There's just so many problems with the game. Like He loves the customizing his uh, bundles, guys. He loves the customization on the operators. That he loves to... Um, he said it previously that he loves buying bundles, though, so... I actually think the SR values are a simple fix. The fact that they have a rank... The fact that we're playing a ranked play system that still uses... And he is in the store right now. Bumbaka! Or at least seeing it. He can skip it, but, you know, he... <laughs> okay, no, my bad. That's Activision, like, <laughs> showing the store down his throat because they see that he loves buying bundles. You Hidden know? MMR in the background is insane to me. I mean, there's got to be pros and cons, and the pros that I am not aware of, but... Yeah. It's just fucking sickening that there's just so many Damn. problems. There's so, there's there's a lot. Yeah, there's there a lot. are there are a lot. There, there are a lot. Come on. Uh, finally, and I think he's also it's finally he's waking up. Get ready for the next clip. Now listen, obviously it's banter. Like I'm not trying to make fun of the homie. It's just that uh, whatever he's saying is kind of true though. Actually, you know, like similar yeah, rants about the Valorant MR or SR system, whatever you, you know, want to like, refer to it as, when it comes to ranked play. All of these games have these unique algorithms and like equations you have to figure out of what you can actually do to get the most SR possible. Yeah. Call of Duty sounds like. Like yeah, like, uh, if you play five games uh, in Call of Duty, Jake Lucky, Activision knows how many Bud Lights you drink per day, too, Mike G. Like, yeah, bro, like, the algorithm crazy. The algorithm crazy. It knows if your girl is preg or not before she even finds out, bro. Like, Rendous right now. It's just, it's always funny to me where players just can't know, and there's probably reasons why from the dev side, like, you just can't know what you have to do to rank up because then people just cheese the heck out of that one individual thing, whether it's kills or hill time or whatever. I, I, I get why some of it it has to be hidden but it seems like call of duty players have no clue how to actually rank up the best way possible which is a funny thing okay, a focus next. on cheating though as we have talked to devs recently over at r6 we've seen complaints from halo from valorant from all the call of duty and, yeah. and warzone titles apex as well it seems that every Damn. game is having these struggles with cheaters right now yeah and so to see all these streamers going on yeah, but, just like how back in uh, uh, back in the days we had like baby boom, now we're having cheaters boom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's tough out here. Let, now listen, I, I see everybody complaining right now. You know, some people are glazing, other people, uh, some people are just hyping everybody up with that. Some people are uh, getting labeled as like, you're toxic, you're a gamer, you're a toxic gamer, toxic gamer. But now in this day and age, bro, like yeah, like I see the issues too. So we're all seeing it. And brothers are joking, yeah, sure, but it's like, the, the issues are real, though. On ran rants about it, it's like, can anything truly, Work? you know, be done about them? My point is, like, it's not your job as a fan and a player to, like, understand and respect and rationalize their anti-cheat working. We just expect it to work. But, man, oh. it's probably, like, insanely difficult. Because... While all of these companies are moving slow and the changes to Call of Duty are moving slow. Yeah, cheat, cheating companies are always two steps ahead. Yeah, well, they're moving slow, I agree. Oh, all these independent third-party cheating websites, they're they fast. can move fast, bro. They don't have these layers of approval and all these fucking people and hoops to jump through. They're just they're always sitting here be. in fucking Russia or wherever the hell they're cooking these damn things up. What? And they're making these things as quick as... Yo, hey! Why you blaming the 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 clan, bro? Why you why you bringing in my Russian homies, bro? That's not very good, my brother. They can, and every time Ricochet comes out with an update where they just spent the last two months trying to remove all these permissions and API access, and I'm probably not making any sense, but like they're fixing. Nah, you're making sense. To be honest, like with this one, he is. Uh, no, it's a joke aside though, no sarcasm. Like, uh, I, I understand what he's saying. He's saying that basically, like, the cheat manufacturers are two steps ahead. It feels like that they're always two steps ahead, but it feels like that they're like 10 steps ahead right now, you know? I'm saying in comparison to Activision. Seeing problems that they had three months ago where all the cheater companies are creating things to get past all the old shit they just did, like the yeah. pace, they just can't keep up. I guarantee it. That's a problem. Whereas, like, if you look at Vanguard, which is Valorant's anti-cheat... Uh, Vanguard, bitch. They, they were building their anti-cheat from the ground up. That's why they have, like, this kernel access. This shit's above right. my pay grade, boys. I'm just trying to understand it as the common man. I genuinely believe, and they'll never... You lost all your right 
saying that you're a common man when you actually said that buying bundles i i love buying bundles i think bundles are great bro you lost all your right you lost that right of saying you're a common man okay like Do nah, it. you're not because at the end of the day activision has a bottom line quarterly earnings it's a public company they have to continue to deliver on this fucking yeah revolving door of bringing money and cash into the business okay i thought that he was gonna say like delivering on games and i was gonna say like what where 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 show me one game in the last five years that they deliver with but now he changed the wording and what he's saying is facts like yeah they want to deliver with the money so or you know they want to deliver the game in and in return they want to make the billions back yeah makes sense makes sense they got to sell the bundles they need to sell a new title every year like there's billions of dollars at stake yeah but if i were call of duty Clearly, you still have a ravenous fan base that loves the game and wants to play it. You know, no matter how much bitching and complaining the community does, they keep coming back every single year. And that's a lot of the argument that's been made against this tweet. But if I, if I truly, if I were Activision, for the first time in my life, I would, I would hit the fucking reset button Damn. and I would actually make decisions for the community and you're gonna lose Dang. a little bit and i think to play devil's app nah bro like okay first of all i would say like stop buying bundles bro like that's like the main thing man <laughs> you, you feel what i'm saying that's like the main thing and recently we had this situation bro like uh, with call of shame you're not gonna believe what truly happened like the the cheats are absolutely getting out of hands click on this video on the screen on the left though we actually had a massive video Click on that video and I will definitely fill you in with that video. So, so check both of these videos out and I'll see you right there.